All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, which do rule well. All right, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be on this planet Earth, whether it's a motherfucking globe or a fucking flat. That's really beyond the point. Anyway, with no further ado, basically what I want to touch on today is we're not in this truth to make a name for ourselves, all right? That's not what Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai brought us in this truth for. He brought us in uh, this truth to exalt his name and his son's name, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, all right? In the truth of the Bible, man, all right? That's, that's what we're commanded to do in this truth and to prophesy. Not make a name for ourselves, all right? Hey, like uh, Yahweh Shai said, what? He ain't, uh, he ain't come to, uh, I believe it's in eighth, the eighth chapter of John, all right? He ain't come to honor his uh, uh, honor himself. He came to honor who? Yahweh, all right? All right, he came in the name of Yahweh, man, all right? So, this is really hitting on the point of not exalting yourself. Because ultimately, who's going to exalt you? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in due time. All right? And you know, you can use scriptures like that. Exalt not thyself and uh, make not thyself equal of the elders. So on and so forth. There's a pl plethora of those scriptures. But uh, I'm going to jump into these, um, these three scriptures in Maccabees. All right? And showing examples of what happens to you when you do exalt yourself. All right, so this is 1st Maccabees, 5th chapter, the 57th verse. Now, the background of the story, um, Judas, you know, uh, he commanded, you know, uh, two of his brothers to go to a certain place, and him and his other brother went to a certain place. But he left in charge uh, Joseph and Azarias um, over the people of Israel while they left, and they, they were commanded not to go to war. So let's just jump straight into the story. All right, verse 57, wherefore they said, now this is speaking of Joseph and Nazarias, wherefore they said, matter of fact, I'm starting at 56, Joseph, the son of Zacharias and Nazarias, the captain of the garrisons, heard of the valiant acts and warlike deeds which they had done. All right, and that's, that's speaking of Judas, all the, the valiant things him and his men did, all right? So when you really think about it, not saying it was quote unquote envious, but they wanted that glory too, man. All right, and, and, and you shouldn't want vain glory because that at the end of the day, that's what it was. All right. Wherefore they said, let us also get us a name. Ah, let us also get us a name, and go fight against the heathen that are round about us. Or when they have uh, Salakis, so when they have given charge unto the garrison that was uh, with them. They went towards Jemina. Then came Georges and his men out of the city to fight against them. And so it was that Joseph and Nazarias were put to flight and pursued into the borders of Judea. And there were slain uh, that day of the people of Israel, about 2,000 men. Thus, there was a great overflow among the children, uh, overthrow among the children of Israel because they had not been obedient to Judas and his uh, brethren, but thought to do some valiant acts. All right, so the same thing in this truth. You will have certain men come into this truth. They see all the work the elders did, and they'll be like, well, damn, I want to make myself equal to them. I, I want to be uh, valiant like them and do all these miraculous things, man. But see, the elder apostles didn't come in to do that, man. They did that because they was commanded to do that. Just like Judas was com uh, commanded his father to do what he had to do. All right. And so when when you don't listen to the discourse of the elders, because this is what this is going into. When you don't follow orders, guess what? You don't get your ass put to death. Thus save these scriptures. And hey, just, uh, things written the four times for what? Our learning. All right. So this, this is a clear example of do what you're told. All right. Like of uh, uh, Philemon 1 and 27. I know that uh, you should not only do these things, but much more that I command thee. Because he said, what? Well, I have confidence in your obedience. All right. 
He had faith that that man was going to listen to all that he do in some. Okay. Okay. Now, when you read like 62 and 63, it tells you how Judas and his brethren were renowned. All right. So I'm jump to 67. All right. Uh, this is uh, 1 Maccabees 5 and 67. At that time, certain priests desirous to show their valor were slain in battle for they went uh, went out to fight unadvisedly. Now, what does Sirach say? Do nothing without advice. But see, these guys were self-willed, just like the scriptures say, because what? They wanted vain glory. All right. They, they wanted to be somebody. All right. They, hey, like Korah. They wanted to be like Moses, man, and got their ass swallowed up. That's not how you're supposed to be in this truth. And there's clear example of certain men, all right, certain ungodly men of Israel, like Maccabees say, wicked seed are they, all right, that have uh, done and are guilty of these things, okay? Verse 68, so Judas turned to... Uh, mm, Con, con. Hey, that's pretty much it. 67 was pretty much it. So I'm going to 67 and give, uh, uh, this is one of my favorite examples, man. All right. Um, this is first Maccabees six. And I'm going to start with 43. Eleazar, also a uh, surname. So, uh, Savaron perceiving that one of the beasts being, uh, the elephant, armed with royal harness, was higher than all the rest, supposing that the king was upon him. So, basically, he's seen the golden opportunity for uh, the golden kill, all right? All right, the, uh, the top kill, all right? Okay, so he says, um, 40, verse 44, put himself in jeopardy, all right? So he broke ranks, putting himself in jeopardy, and also Israel, because think of it spiritually, when a man break ranks, all right, you, you leaving, just like the Spartans, you're supposed to be side by side. Now, there's certain times there's guerrilla warfare, but at certain times the, the, the unit is together. If you break rank unadvised, all right, and that shield not protecting the other bro, uh, brother's uh, side, you possibly could get him killed, man. All right, so you got to think of them things when you do that, all right? And it, it, listen, this ain't about self-glory once again, all right? So guess what? Put himself in jeopardy to the end. He might deliver his people. All right. So listen, yeah, he wanted to deliver his people. We all want to deliver our people. But there was something more to it, man. Something more carnal. All right. And get him a perpetual name. Exactly. And that, that was his fault. His fault wasn't not him trying to deliver his people. His fault was him trying to get himself a perpetual name, man. All right. Vain glory. Okay. Verse 45. Wherefore he ran upon him courageously through the midst of the battle, slaying on the right hand and on the left, so they were divided from him on both sides. So guess what? He put up a hell of a fight. Just like you you have a certain niggas in the uh, in the so-called truth, they call themselves in the truth, but you got certain men, all right, ungodly men in Israel, all right? Just like this man. Hey, cutting this Cutting that, although a lot of them ain't really cutting shit, man. A lot of them just cut themselves. But, you know, it looks like they fighting a the good fight. They war in a good war, all right, just like this man did, okay? Verse 46, which done, he crept under the elephant and thirsted him under and slew him. So he killed all these people to the left and the right and did a, I see how I picture it. He did a cold ass slide under the elephant and stuck it right in the heart, you know? A good brutality, man. Thinking he was going to bring down the king so he could get him a perpetual name. But guess what happened? Whereupon the elephant fell down upon him, there he died. So he got his ass squashed. All right? And imagine how big, hey, them elephants was mighty back in, the, in, in that day. All right? Well, it was said about 32 or 37 mighty men could get on the back of this elephant, man. And also the Indian that controlled it. All right, as you get into Maccabees, man. So you got to think of the 300 and them, them, them beasts that they brought, man. 
All right? But, hey, it was more glorious than that. Imagine 32 mighty men on the back of an elephant riding it. And listen, listen we was a, a lot bigger back then than that day. All right? So imagine how big these animals was. So imagine, hey, it was a glorious scene to see that brother do that. But guess what? He did it ill-advisedly. All right? He did it for some carnal shit because he wanted a perpetual name, man. And that's not, that's not what we brought in the truth to do, man. At the end of the day, man, we're not brought in this truth to make a name for ourselves, so on and so forth. All right. Um, let me see if I can find. I just search for it. Will the spirit bring it out? The spirit bring it out. If not, then I will not. I won't pour. Uh, I'm not gonna force the spirit you know basically i was just looking for exalt not thyself if i don't get to it right now i would most definitely how rest as i throw it in the comment board and, you know so on so forth i'm just flipping through Sirach right now and if i find it i find it but nonetheless man especially you younger brothers coming in the truth this thing is not about vain glory whatsoever man all right so uh, if you thinking that's what the truth is about or you you come in the truth and you think that's uh, the only reason why you're in the, in the truth well this, this thing may not be for you man all right and you're gonna find yourself getting squashed or put to death all right for things of that nature so yeah i, I currently i can't find it right now but through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shimei El Shai, I will put it on the comment board. And if I don't, then one of you, you know, you brothers that's listening to this video, getting edified, put it on the comment board. So with that, I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. All right, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be, man. All right, keep on pushing. All right, keep on exalting the name of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. All right, blow your trumpet, stand upon your watchtower. All right, Pre uh, preach the truth. All right, and don't do this thing for vain glory. All right, abad babal, death to you two thirds, and death to you false prophets. Shalom to the elect.